What's up everyone, I'm Jamel Jones, the Real Estate Alpha Wolf. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a cold call campaign if you're using campaigns and triggers and a cold call workflow if you've graduated over to using workflows. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go into automations. Then you wanna select campaigns. <clears throat> I created one earlier, so I'll go ahead and delete this one so I can create another one. All right, so um, if you want to keep everything in a folder, you know, feel free to just create a folder. But for this test, I mean, for this um, video, we want, we won't. So, we'll call. So, save that. All right. Um, now inside of here, um, I guess there's nothing to really see in there. So inside of here, you're gonna um, have campaign configurations right here, and you're gonna be able to add users. Now, if, you, if you're gonna have uh, VAs, then this is where you would assign that VA, and you would create a campaign VA1. Right. If you got one VA assigned to certain contacts and another VA assigned to certain contacts, and you've got them set up to where they can only see data that's assigned to them, then this is how you would do that. You would do that right here using uh, campaigns. It, it'd be different in workflows, and I'll show you that. Um, so you uh, add your user right here. The window doesn't matter. Next campaign doesn't matter unless you want them to go over into another campaign. Email address, doesn't matter, lead value, all of this stuff is up to you. I like to turn on, um, allow multiple, and stop on response, doesn't matter if this is gonna be a straight cold call campaign. So anyway, you hit save on that. And then the next thing you wanna do is add a manual call. And literally that's, that's it, right? Uh, we're gonna publish it. And what we're gonna do now, is go over and add contacts to that workflow. Now this particular part right here, um, I'll add all at once, add at a scheduled time, add in drip mode. Um, the only time with a cold call campaign, the only time I would recommend doing drip mode is if you're if you're allotting your VA or yourself a certain amount of cold calls per day, right? Let's say you got a thousand records and you only want them to call 50 a day. So I'd add in the drip mode and add 50 every one day. Um, other than that, you can add them all at once. Uh, since it's a manual action, it will not call anyone unless you go in and call. So that's that's that. So So we're gonna add those 10 to the cold call campaign. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get started with that. Um, well, you know what, actually I'll just show you how to create uh, a workflow and, and then I'll show you at the end how to get started with those campaigns. So to create a cold call workflow, I'm gonna create a new workflow. Sorry, I sped through that, but I mean, if you guys are watching this thing, you know, you know what all of that is already. Um, go into settings first, and we want to do the same thing we did with the campaigns, which is allow multiple to uh, leave stop on response off. Um, auto mark is red. We want to leave that on because we what we don't want is our outbound calls to be in our inbox under conversations as incoming calls. Um, when I first got started, I had like literally thousands of um, notifications saying I had messages, but it was all outbound stuff, right? So we want we want to make sure we leave that on, turn that on. Then we're gonna hit save. Let's just do cold call workflow one. All right, so now um, similar to the campaigns. If you want to add a 
a virtual assistant or assign these contacts to someone, the first step in this would be uh, that. But before we get there, uh, we're gonna do the workflow trigger. Me personally, I don't do workflow triggers um, on marketing campaigns. I like to go into contacts and add them manually. But if you want to set it up to where, let's say you add a tag, let's say start or whatever, right? <clears throat> to, to trigger this, this workflow. What that means is you will go into contacts, you will select all of the contacts that you want to cold call, and you will add the tag from the contact section inside of REI Reply. And as soon as they get that tag, they'll shoot directly into this workflow. That's that's all that means. But like I said, I don't like to do it that way, but you can do it that way if you want. It's just up to you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign to a user. And... Um, Inside of here is where you would assign to not, not only just one, but you can assign to multiple users and you can choose to uh, divide them uh, individually, right? Like let's say you want two, two uh, VAs and you got 100 records and you want uh, 50 to go to one and 50 to go to the other. You can actually do that when you, when you assign inside of here. So I'm not going to click on that just because I think YouTube is going to have a problem with it. Um, it actually says it up here, assigns a, user, assigns a contact to a user, specify the user and add multiple for round robin assignments. And what that means is whoever comes up next, let's say VA1 is on the phone with um, Mike Jones and Mark Robbins is number two and Tim Burton is number three. So once VA1 get off the phone, if VA2 is on the phone with the second caller, now VA1 is going to take that third caller. But if VA2 gets off the phone before VA1, then VA2 is going to take the third caller. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then you could do only apply to unassigned contacts. I don't turn this on just, in, uh, just because some of my contacts might be assigned to someone else based on a previous workflow. And now I want to assign them to someone else, right? So, and if you have this turned on, it will not, it will not do that. So, all right. And next thing you want to do is um, add an action, manual call, cold call, workflow, VA1. And that is literally it guys. That's how you create that. And now I'm gonna show you how to actually call them. You go into conversations over here and then you go over to manual actions. And and you, um, you will select start from here. And I do not have a phone number connected to this account. Um, so, but there will be a dialer thing pop up up here and show you who you're calling. And when you get done with the call, it will actually get disp disposition it. Um, it'll be, if they answer, you got the voicemail um, or it didn't connect or whatever, you select whichever one it is. And then it'll go to, it'll give you about 20 seconds to update all of the information. And then it will go over to the next call. Right, and it's, it's literally just that simple. You just go in from the um, from uh, conversations and you would actually select which campaign you're doing inside of here. I forgot that step, my bad. And if you have a VA and you have them assigned to a contact, um, when you tell them to come in, don't even tell them to go into here and, and select the campaign. You can just tell them to go in and select their name, right? And then everything that is assigned to them will show up in here. And all they got to do is hit let's start and then they'll be gone. So, all right, that's, uh, that's that guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video.